Hi, I'm Mike, Poketips Mike, and today I'm gonna show you my new favorite glitch in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. Today, I'm gonna show you how you could enter the void and even fly in these games without using any cheats, any hacks, only using a few glitches in Sword and Shield. Let's get right into it. So a couple weeks back, I made a video where I showed you guys four glitches in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. My favorite glitch in that video was a glitch that I found where you could basically enter a tree and become the tree. Back then, it was kind of a silly little glitch, and we didn't really know any major uses for it. But now, thanks to a new glitch where we could skip a day really easily, it's been discovered that we could actually use this to enter Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield's void, and even fly around the map like your E.T. Shout out to the YouTuber Blaines, because he was the first person I actually saw discussing this new method for the glitch, and I'll have a link to his video covering it in the description. Alright, so let's hop in game and I'll show you how to do this glitch. So the first thing you need is a membership to Nintendo Switch Online. Without that, it might be possible to do this glitch, but it's going to take a long, long time. So just make sure you have a Nintendo Switch Online membership if you want to do this. And second, you'll need to have played the game long enough to get the bike, so basically right after the first gym badge. Once you have those things ready, we can do this glitch. So let's go to Route 3, and then on Route 3 we're going to ride our bike all the way down here past these little roly-coly, and over here to this berry tree. Now, before we even start interacting with the berry tree, we're going to go ahead and set up the new Ranked Battle Day Skip glitch. So what we're going to do is hop into the VS menu over here. And this is what we need Nintendo Switch Online for. Then when we're in the Victory Station, we're going to select Battle Stadium, and we're going to connect to the Battle Stadium. Now, once you're connected to the internet, we're going to go ahead and select Ranked Battles. I tried doing this glitch with casual battles, but it only seems to work in Ranked Battles. From here, you could select either Single or Double Battle. It doesn't really matter. I'd recommend choosing the one that you don't care about if you use these Ranked Battles and you care about your ranking. I don't care about either, so I'm just going to hop into a Double Battle just to get things going. Now, once we're in this whole double battle, select your team. Again, it doesn't really matter because what we're going to be doing here is just running away from the battle. We want to get in and we want to get out as quickly as possible. So now the game's going to search for a trainer for me to battle. It might take a little bit. I've had it take anywhere from like 30 seconds to a minute. And there we go. We found somebody. So we're just going to select our team. We need four Pokemon to jump into this double battle. And let's just get right into it. Okay, now the battle's gonna start. This guy's a pretty impressive looking team there with the Tyranitar and the Flygon. And on the other hand, I'm sending out Dusk Noir and Wooloo, so not really the most impressive team. But that doesn't really matter because what we need to do here is simply run away from the battle. And then once they select what they're gonna do, the battle is going to be immediately cancelled since we're running away from the battle, and we are going to lose. But again, that's all part of the plan because now it sets up the day skip glitch. So we're going to completely back out of here. We're done in the whole battle stadium. We're done in the whole VS menu. Now, what that does, basically, it lets us change the date on our Nintendo Switch. And when we change the date, it'll actually register as a full day changing in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Normally, when you try to change the clock in Pokemon Sword and Shield, it'll kind of lock you out of time-based events, or at least it won't skip a whole day. But after doing that, after just simply going in a ranked battle and then running away, your day will immediately change. So now that we set up the day skip glitch, we can get into the really fun part of this glitch. So the first thing we're going to need to do before we can start walking in walls and flying around is do the berry tree glitch that I discovered a few weeks back. So just to refresh your memory really quickly, first we need to get to our berry tree that already has some berries in it, and we need to be riding our bike. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to interact with the berry tree, and we're going to shake, shake, shake this thing until a Pokemon jumps out and attacks us. I actually got it pretty quickly this time, so I think I only got like two berries or something, and a Cheruby jumped out of the tree and decided it was time to attack me. So now once we're in this battle, all we gotta do is just run away to make this again as fast as possible, and now that we're out, we'll get some of the berries that fell out of the tree, but most importantly, we could just move right ahead and walk into the tree. I'm never gonna get tired of this glitch. I find it incredible. So now this is the most important part. Getting into the tree is super easy, but from here, you're gonna wanna copy my character exactly. Let me just line it up the way I think it'll work. And perfect. I think that alignment's really good. Take a look at where my head is right now. It's partially in the tree. And take a look at where the front of my bike is, that tire. If you could line up your character the same way I have my character lined up right here, you should have a pretty good shot of getting this glitch to work. Now, once you're lined up the way I am, 
hit the home button, and we're actually going to do the day skip glitch right now. So we're going to hit system settings once we're on the home screen, go all the way down to system, go down to date and time, and just simply increase your date by one. Now go back in game, hit the home button again, and you'll see that the berries are actually back on the tree. Again, the whole reason this works is because of that glitch with the ranked online battles. So now that it's a new day in game, the berries are back on that tree, which means we could once again interact with the tree. So when you're lined up like this, just go ahead, talk to the berry tree, and then you'll see the game actually pushes you into that rock right there. So right now I'm partially out of bounds. So once again, we're just gonna go ahead and do the whole berry tree glitch. We're gonna shake this tree until a Pokemon comes out and attacks us. This time it's gonna be a Squovet, so we'll just simply run away from the Squovet, and once we get out of this battle, that's where the very fun and very exciting stuff is gonna happen. So we got away safely, and now that we're back in the overworld, we'll collect our berries. But before we even do that, you can see my character is totally inside of the rock right now. Completely in there. So, here we are. Now we're in the rock, and we can run around in the out-of-bounds area. Now, pretty much immediately after you start doing this glitch, you're going to notice that you're not going to be able to run back out onto the regular path in this route. You're kind of stuck in all the areas that you normally can't access. You can't even go back out onto this tree. But your pathway to explore more of this area is right over here on this little slope formation, and we're going to come back to that in a little bit. So let's play around with this glitch for a little bit. I can't believe it's 2019 and we have a huge glitch like this in Pokemon Sword and Shield. Look at this out of bounds area. Look at this void. It looks insane. I really thought after Pokemon Diamond and Pearl and that crazy void glitch with the bike, we would never get a glitch like this ever again in a Pokemon game. But here we are and I'm very, very happy we can do this. This is crazy. And it's kind of funny how all these void glitches seem to involve the bike. There's always a problem with that thing. Now, a really cool trick you could do with this glitch is go to an area on the map that's really high up, like this mountain range over here. Now, once you're high up, just ride off and you'll be flying. You'll be flying over the map. Let's take a look down here. We can see some roly-coly down there. We can see a trainer. I would love to see from his point of view, just like looking up at the sky and seeing this guy riding his bike around Route 3 in the air. And this spot right here gives us another really cool viewing angle that we never get to see normally in game. Right back there is something we still can't get to, it's still out of bounds, it's just in the background, but it's a little train tunnel. And when we go over here inside of the mountain, we can kind of see, oh wait, I'm not getting the angle I'm looking for right now. There we go, we can actually see inside, we can see a little bit of the train tracks, and it kind of leads to nowhere. And back there too, there's another little factory in the background that I can't quite get to. If I try moving forward, it just stops me right here. Oh, here's another cool thing we could do. We could still interact with trainers and people on the map, even when we're in the out-of-bounds area, if we're close enough to actually talk to them. Same thing with wild Pokemon too. You could encounter them in battles, you could run into them, and everything works like normal. And if you catch them, it would still say they were met on Route 3. And when I try moving on to the next town, I get stuck right here. I kind of hit a wall that I can't pass. The same thing happens on this side of the wall, too. I can't get past this little block, and obviously I can't go back onto the main path. However, there is something I can do to get past that wall and fly into the next town. So like you just saw, normally you can't leave the boundaries while using this glitch. However, there was another method discovered by a YouTuber named YemPKM that actually lets you use this slope right here to get up really high in the sky and fly out of here and leave this area. All you need to do is be on your bike and come right on top of the slope right about to the middle. Then when you're on the middle, hit the left button a few times, then get off your bike. Now, while you're doing this, come over here, and then get back on your bike again. Now, when you get back on your bike, you might be in a weird angle, you might be flat on the ground, but when you come over to this spot, you should be able to hit the down button, and you'll slowly be able to rise up just like you could on the slope. Then you're going to keep holding that down button and keep riding up higher and higher for a few minutes until you get really, really high up in the sky. Alright, so I've rode this invisible mountain up so high, trees are starting to disappear now. Yeah, look at that. When I move, all those trees disappear on the bottom of the map. So let's see if we can fly out of this area and over into the next town over here, Moto Stoke. I believe that we can. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are in Moto Stoke now. So we just flew right off of- oh my god. 
it's turning all blue. <laughs> all right, so we just flew right out of Route 3 over into the next town. We can see some water. Look at this. I can't believe this is a... Oh my god, that's freaky. I can't believe this is a glitch in Sword and Shield. I never thought we'd see a glitch this crazy in a Pokemon game ever again with all the rigorous testing and everything that I assume they go through. Alright, well now we're seriously in the void. Let me get off my bike and just run around. Oh my god, my hair looks blue. <laughs> we're almost up at the clouds, so no wonder my hair looks blue. This is so crazy. Oh, and now it finally registers that I'm in Moto Stoke. That's so weird. Since we're up so high in the sky, the game must be so confused on where my actual location is. So I don't blame it for not knowing where I am. Oh, look at that nice view over there. I think that's the wild area that we can see in the background. Now, I don't think that's the actual wild area. In these games, the maps are set up kind of different. Oh, no, we fell back down. But like I was saying, I don't think that's the actual wild area that we're viewing in the background. In these games, they just modeled out the wild area so it has the continuity when you go through the maps. But even if we were able to somehow get down to the grass level, I don't think that would be the real wild area. It's just supposed to look like it. I'm really wondering how far we can go with this glitch though. Unfortunately, I fell down here and I'm not going to go all the way back and try to get up high again, but I think we could get pretty far doing this. So now there's one thing I have to do because somebody's going to ask you to do it in the comments section. We're going to get off our bike and oh, can we even save over here? I don't think we could save. I was going to try to save my game, but it looks like the game is just not letting me save. Maybe it knows we're in an out of bounds area. Alright, so that's good to know. It looks like somebody at Game Freak thought about this, and they figured if somebody managed to get out of bounds, they would disable your ability to save out there. I feel like this glitch has so much potential to turn into something huge. It was discovered maybe a week ago at this point, and people really haven't had a time to fully play around with it and explore and see what's possible, but who knows, maybe a year down the line from now, this glitch might be involved with something crazy in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I know there's at least one other area in game where you could actually do this glitch right now in the wild area, but it's really tough to actually get it to work. Personally, I have not been able to get that spot working yet, but people have reported that you can do the tree glitch and everything here too. So my friends, with that, you now know about probably my favorite glitch in all of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Play around with this glitch, have a lot of fun with it, it's wild. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new and you want to see more Pokemon content, follow me on Instagram at PokeTipsMike, and my friends, I'll see you in the next one.